Let me say this for you today, and this is what I'm about to do. Challenge you with some counter-cultural values. Amen? And you've got to grab this if this matters to you. If you are one of those who struggle in your search for significance, right? Because here's the next thing I want to say is this. Purpose and fulfillment are found only in true religion. What, what do I mean by true religion? First of all, religion now, which has become a bad word or an unpopular word, is, it needs to be understood simply this. It just means the way you live. Do you understand? So you might say, well, I'm an atheist. And so because I'm an atheist, I don't believe in or practice the things of faith. I don't believe in a God. I don't pray. I don't worship. I don't go to church. I don't do any of those things. Well, that's your religion. Your, your being an atheist is going to determine that you live a certain way. Well, that's your what? Religion. So religion is not a bad word. It just means a way of living. So, 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 so James says that what pleases God is a true or a pure religion, a good kind of way of living. And that's really what I want to give you this morning. Go back to what he says. He says, if anyone thinks he's religious and does not shut his mouth, I mean, bridle his tongue, <laughs> but deceives himself. I read that wrong, didn't I? If anyone thinks he's religious but does not bridle his tongue, thank you, Holy Spirit, but deceives his heart, this person's religion is worthless. So worthless religion is about talk. It's about going around making claims. It's about saying things that no matter how good they sound are nothing more than just words. So that's worthless religion. Talk but no action. Confessions but no manifestation. Come on somebody. Clouds that yield no rain. And there's a lot of that out there. There's so many options now. So many options the devil has created. You know, ways that you can, you can have a good life without following God. And so many. But, but, but here James says, religion that is pure and undefiled before God the Father is to take care of those amongst you who are vulnerable when they have times of affliction. And to keep yourself unstained, uncorrupted from the world. Okay? So true religion or the way of life that God approves of is about caring enough to share. Because talk is cheap. Here's what I say. Do something. Uh, a guy named Bob Goff has this simple saying. I think he wrote a book uh, by the same title. He says, love God, love people, do stuff. Simple, but powerful. Love God, love people, but let your love for God be seen in the way you love people and let your love for people be seen in that you're willing to do things to help improve people's lives around you. In this case, James says that you take care of the widows and orphans. In James's time, there was no welfare system in place if you didn't have parents or if you, if you were a widow and you didn't have a husband to take care of you. So the priority then was to make sure that these people who were then the most vulnerable in society were taken care of. Whoever the vulnerable is today, whoever those people are, whoever the weakest, the most vulnerable in our society today, amen, the, James says pure and undefiled religion is to make sure that you, you, you carry in your heart compassion for them. Compassion is love that takes action. And so however you can do something to improve the lives of those who are suffering and those who are hurting, James says that is what God commends. That is what God commends. 